You want to hook up 4Flight to X-Plane 11? Well, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to connect 4Flight to your GPS on X-Plane 11. I'm also going to show you how to get set up in VR. Alright, so let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it, and let's go. So the first step in getting this installed is getting your iPad to sync its GPS with your ForeFlight. If you don't have ForeFlight, download ForeFlight on your iPad or tablet before moving on. Go into your iPad settings, click on Wi-Fi, and beside your Wi-Fi connection, you will find this eye with a circle around it. Click on the eye with the circle and you'll get your IP address. So copy your IP address down on paper or just leave the screen open while you go back into the X-Plane settings. Then go to X-Plane 11, get into the settings screen. In the settings screens, click on network tab. On the right, you will find a heading that says iPhone, iPad, or external apps. Click on this if it's not expanded. If it is, just, if it is expanded already, just leave it. Go down to the third party apps and check off the box that says transmit to a single third-party app on the network. Below you will find a field that says IP address. Type your IP address into that field, the IP address that you got from your iPad. Once this is entered, select done. Next, we're gonna have to verify this. So to verify this, keep X-Plane 11 open and go into an actual flight. This is an important step because it is the only way your iPad will receive the GPS signal. If you don't do this, you won't know if it's working and you won't be able to enable it. Once you have the flight loaded and running, open your Four Flight app on the iPad and go more in the bottom right. From there, go to devices. If you don't see anything on the right side of the screen, you have done something wrong. If you do see something, it's probably gonna be saying explain and that means you've done it right. Uh, now click on that box and uh, you'll come to another screen. You can click on enable because by default it should be disabled. So enable it, and that way your X-Plane will be able to send its signal to your iPad for flight. So if you're not using VR, this is all you need to do to get for flight running properly with X-Plane. For the VR simmers out there, this is what you need to do. After getting the GPS to work, you need to download a program called Air Server. There are other ones out there, however, this seems to be one that is reasonably priced and it appears to be fairly uh, a fairly professional product. I've used it and it works uh, great for me. First, search for Air Server online, or I'm gonna leave the link in the description there and you can just click on that link. So once you enter the Air Server homepage, go to select products and go down to where it says Air Server Windows 10 Desktop Edition, if you're running Windows 10, of course. So once you've clicked on that, scroll down to buy a license and select the free trial. Of course you can purchase the full product, but you may also want to just give it a try and see what it's like before you commit to buying it. That's what I've done and that's what I suggest you try. Uh, select the download that works for you. I use the PC 64-bit version. Let's follow the download and install instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you have it downloaded, go back to your iPad and swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This will open a quick menu. Tap the AirPlay button and change that to desktop 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever's on there. It'll have a, it usually comes up with desktop and it'll have a couple numbers. After that, you click on that one and it's going to connect your iPad now to your computer through Air Server. And this will allow your computer to see what's on your iPad and it'll display it on the screen. This is what we want. Um, it's one of the steps here. Next, I would suggest you get Move VR, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description for that one as well. It's a simple program that allows you to display your screen inside your VR. And I suggest you have this program because you can do it with Oculus Desktop, but it is a few more steps that are not really needed. And uh, with Move VR, you don't have to do those steps. So I recommend just getting Move VR. It's free. And I'll leave a link for it. You just have to, I believe you have to sign up for the x forums, but I'll, I'll leave a link for that in the description. So to install Move VR, open the zip folder 
and take the contents from the zip folder into the Xplane plugin folder. Don't move the zip folder itself. Move the contents from inside there to your plugin folder. So it's time to get started. So the first thing you want to do is have ForeFlight running on your iPad and have it being mirrored onto your computer. Just like I mentioned before, you're going to have you're going to use that you're going to swipe up from the bottom, open it up and it should be displaying on your computer now as a uh, just like it would on your iPad. That's perfect. So once it's displayed on your computer, make sure that you have it somewhere where you can grab it and put it and make it a full screen item after. So maybe if you have two screens, move it off to one screen, open X-Plane 11 on the second screen. Um, if you don't, then just kind of move them side by side or have it so you can access it somehow. Um, so open up X-Plane 11 and start a flight. Doesn't matter where you're going, just start a flight. So once you're in your flight, click the B button, go down to the advanced menu, scroll down to the plugins. So scroll down until you see move VR, click on move VR, set your uh, window where you want it. The trigger button will let release it and then select the desktop. All right, then click on the move to VR button. So you can move it around by grabbing the top of the screen with the trigger button. Make sure you grab only a side or the bottom. If you grab a corner, it will cause it to be blurry. Thanks again, guys, for watching my YouTube tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. If you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as well. We got lots of videos coming out for you. Also, check us out on VRFlightWorld.com. We also have a podcast, so check us out. Leave a comment below if you have any questions at all, and I'll see you in the next video.